Night, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Zenith TV's coverage of the Blue Screen Corporation Dirty Old Bastards World of Outlaws Craftsman Sprint Car Series, round number two. Race number two, live from the Sprint Car Capital. Oh, the world, I do apologise. Firstly, Training Paints has been a bit of a pain in the A double five. So, unfortunately, Training Paints is not working. I tried uninstalling and reinstalling. It seems that it just does not want to work for me. Qualifying! Different style of qualifying if you've just joined us for the first time. Now, tonight, five minutes of qualifying. Each driver, solo qualifying. Each driver will have two laps to set their fastest lap time here around the Knoxville Raceway. Waiting for the times to come up on the left hand side of your screen at the moment. And Alan Sewell. Well, he did jump to position number one, but Jason Brown with a 15, 7, 9, 2. Wow. Jason Nygaard sitting second, Cooper with a 16, 0, 2, 3. Alan Sewell, 16, 1, 70. Now position number four. Tim Smith goes to position number three. And well, Tyson Landis, he's going to make his name known in position number three with a 16, 0, 8, 3. Taylor Howe. In fifth, you're back to Ryan Martin. Anthony Lopresto in the 257. 15.964. Anthony Lopresto, 16.111 on lap number two. Tim Smith with a 16.002. Sits so position number three. John Lopresto. In the 157 now, he's going to sit position 5 of the 16, 0, 3, 1. Bobby Tyson Landis back to 6. Stephen Hill 7th, 8th Taylor Howe, ninth Ryan Martin. Alan Samel rounds out our top 10. So 28 cars have signed into the pits here for race number 2. And we take our top 24 directly. Ken Terry, at the moment, sitting 25th and 26th. Tom Prakash, he is done for. Jesse Bandy in the 25th, he is done for as well. Brandon Steele goes to position 23. Bumps Jimmy Prakash out of a top 24. Bobby Aaron Schaefer back to the 24th spot. And Zane Scott in car number 37. Getting set to lay down each first lap of time, it is. Nothing just yet, so maybe he's just getting the green flag right now. So Aaron Schaefer, he is at 24th and final starter at the moment. It all depends on Zane Scott. What kind of lap time is he going to turn as he comes into turn number one and two? It is 16, 4, 1, 0. He goes to position number 20, Aaron Schaefer. Out, leave out of oh, race number two. And Zane Scott is going to go to position number 12 with a 16.227. So we'll have our starting grid here in just a moment as we wait for the checkered flag to get thrown here. We've got just over a minute. So we'll go through. So Jason Brown sets quick time. Anthony Lopresto second. Quick Tim Smith third. Jason Nygaard fourth. John Lopresto rounds out the top five. You go to Tyson Landis, Stephen Hill, Taylor Howe, Ryan Martin, Alan Smell, top 10. 11th, Carl Scott, Zane Scott, 12th. Garrett Pepiat in 13th. John Lowe, 14th. Craig Dunn, 15th. Brad Spidel, 16th. Tyler Henselman, Alex Orion's. Parker Davis, Matthew Henniger, 20th, 21st, Logan Christensen, Joshua Sakor, Justin Zapp, and Brandon Steele will be our 24 cars. 25th belong to Aaron Schaefer. Now he missed out on that spot by 0 0.040. Jimmy Prakash missing out as well by 0 0.0625. He's Tom Prakash in at 27, and Jesse Bandy. Was our 28th start or 28th qualifier just missing out by a tenth? A 16.612, so 0.819 separates first place from second place, and it was very, very tight. 
come the point in that one as we're coming up on just a couple of seconds left here in qualifying with that being said we're going to throw it to our starting grid here in just a moment so once again i do apologize for trading paints not working As we go through our starting grid. Starting on the pole, car number 23, race number one feature winner, it's going to be Jason Brown. To his outside, the 257 of Anthony Lopresto. At a position three, we'll see the 838 of Tim Smith line up alongside the 22 of Jason Nygaard. Position five, the 157 John Lepresto lines up alongside the 31 of Tyson Landis. At a position seven, the 127 of Stephen Hill. He lines up alongside the 29 of Taylor Howe. At a position nine, the 24 Ryan Martin will line up alongside Alan Samuel in position number 10, Carl Scott. We'll line up alongside Zane Scott in row number six. Row seven, Gary Pepiat. We'll start alongside John Lowe, Greg Dunn and Brad Spider, Tyler Hitzelman, Alex Orion to row nine. Row ten, Parker Davis, Matthew Henninger, Logan Christensen, Joshua Sakor, Justin Zapp and Brandon Steele. Our 24 car starters. As the fireworks go off. Yeah, around the Knoxville Raceway. So there we have it. That's the drivers. We'll get the green flag this time by. So once again, I apologise. Trading paints is not working for some of the cars. It gets to about 70% downloaded loading up those paints and then decides, no, you know what? I'm not going to have any of that. Jason Brown and Anthony Lopresto. The green is out. We are underway here at Knoxville. Well, Brown going to leave once again as he does. Slides up to the middle of the racetrack. In turns one and two, and they are still two by two by two at the moment. Oh, John Lepresto having a, a bit of issues there in that 157. But we may get through the first lap. Speaking too soon. Brandon Steele in that 005. Jesse Bandy as well. Aaron Schaefer in count number 77. So Brandon Steele finds himself back on pit road. I didn't realize we had. Uh, 25 starters. Looks like Garrett Pepiat, as was mentioned earlier, was a DNS. So decides to qualify and take a spot away from somebody else, but decided not to start that one. And that allowed Aaron Schaefer to start in that 24 spot. So 
the first caution here in race number two. The lights are out. 35 laps in distance here around the Knoxville, as we've seen in race number one. Let's hope we get a lot more green, or a lot less yellow flag laps this time by. So Jason Brown will continue to lead Anthony Lopresto, Tim Smith in third, Jason Nygaard, John Lopresto, Taylor Howell, Tyson Linus, Alan Sabell, Stephen Hill, and Zane Scott round out our top ten. We are getting set to go back green here off a of turn number four. Lights are out. The virtual Doug Clark will wave the green, flag, the green flag. flag. We are racing back here at Knoxville. And Brown, as he's done all night long, from the bottom to the top in turns one and two, whether it's the initial start or whether it's a restart. This time he's got the 257 of Anthony Lopresto trying to chase down the number 23. Third place belongs to Tim Smith at the moment in the 838. And we've got Jason Nygaard in fourth right now. John Lopresto rounds out the top five. Got on for six right now. Alan Samuel and Taylor Howe. Give it to Samuel. Oh, Jason Nygaard off the pace. I wonder if he's forgotten to put fuel in. I wonder if the 22 has fo forgotten to put fuel in. John Lowe also finds himself on pit road. And then we have the 77 of Aaron Schaefer. So three cars finding themselves on pit road. And Oh, well, surely that's got to be heartbreak for the 22. He put in a good, solid qualifying effort. But finds himself back in the pits. And second caution comes out. We have a white flag at lap number 41. But at the moment, Jason Brown is currently a race leader. Anthony Lopresto in second, Tim Smith in third, and John Lopresto fourth. Alan Swell rounds out the top five, so three UW Motorsports drivers sitting second, third, and fourth right now. Confirmation that Nygaard has run out of fuel. So the lights will turn off on the page track, the flashing lights, that is. So the track looks a lot slicker on the entry into turn number one than what we've seen in race one. Jason Brown will lead. And he's going to lead Anthony Lopresto, Tim Smith, John Lopresto, Alan Sunil, Taylor Howard, Tyson Landers. Stephen Hill. Zane and Kyle Scott sitting ninth and tenth. Jason Brown waits for the green and green flag, green there flag. it is. We are back underway and you'll see Brown go to the bottom, although Lopresto almost sticking his nose in there as they went into turns one and two. Give it over two fifty seven right now. Look at this battle right now on screen. The 31 of Landis, 29. Taylor Howe on the white machine on the outside of Kyle Scott and Zane Scott. They're both coming through together right now. Zane Scott just hit the infield burn and that checked him up a little bit right now. Landis looks to the inside of John Lopresto in the turn, number three and four. Oh, we got someone into the wall. They come back down the racetrack and we keep it green for the moment. It's Taylor Howe. He rides back in 10th. Ryan Martin in 11. The other two, the 21 of Tyler Henselman. Trying to make his way forward. John Lepresto. In the 157, the pit machine on screen right there. It's only Pete because trading paints doesn't want to work properly. Landis, Kyle Scott and Zane Scott. 
Kyle Scott on the inside comes up the racetrack and Landis drives back around the outside. Here comes Zane Scott on the outside of Kyle Scott. Kyle puts a slider on Zane. Nose to tail down the front straight away. Kyle goes high. Zane goes low. Zane puts a slider on the 37. Moves up to position number 7. Car upside down, Justin Zapp. Whoa, that was close. Craig Dunn back to the pits as well. And Logan Christensen as well. Uh, the third yellow of tonight's second race. So third caution of tonight's race and we see the lap white flag at lap number 44 to the green right now which will put us on lap 22 so essentially 13 laps complete 22 laps left to run here in the second of our twin 35s from the Knoxville Road Show the sprint car capital of the world they come past the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame and Museum past their own course in the sweep tower into turn number three and four you see the racing billboard playing in the background Drivers are on one to green. Four. Four. So you just heard a four there, so we're going to say that it was 44. Twenty-two laps left to run. Can we see Jason Brown double down here at Knoxville in the four tens? We'll make him the first repeat winner of the season. In fact, I'm just trying to think who won last week. I can't remember. I do so many races throughout the week, it's hard to keep up with who's winning where. But let me tell you, Jason Brown, not going to leave this one to no chance. Tim Smith restarts in second. Alan Samantha seen further. Yes, I did. And we go back to John LaPresto. I'm not sure what happened to Anthony LaPresto. So Alan Samal hanging on to position number three. Well, try and find the battle on the racetrack right now. Kyle Scott. Trying to make it work on the inside, but all he comes Tyson Landis back around the outside. We're going to keep an eye on our battle for fourth and fifth. There's John Lopresto, who's going to take over position number three. Alan Samuel really got it back to fourth for the time being. He's got Zane Scott in the 37 right in behind him. Scott now going to move to the inside, throw the big slide job on Alan Samuel and Scott. Zane Scott will take over position number four. He's really been on the pace this season, Zane Scott, both in the 360 and 410. Anthony Lopresto at the moment in the 157. He's going to have pressure here from Scott. In the next couple of laps, I dare say, he makes a little bit of a mistake. And, well, here comes Carl Scott down the bottom side of the racetrack. Alan Samuel up top as well. A ride through turns number three and four. Well, we've got 17 to run. Samuel trying to hang on to a top five. They run Jason Brown. He's almost got a second lead over Tim Smith. In fact, it's now nine tenths. 
They go back to three seconds, three and a half seconds of John Lopresto right now. That's the pink car, the front of his four car. Four cars that are nose to tail right now. And they are running slide job lines right now. Lopresto, hang on, we got Jesse Bandy who's got problems. Hopefully he can get off the racetrack without any sort of issues right now. Oh, the cushion is starting to build up and Zane Scott, he's going to go on by Kyle Scott. Oh, no. Lepresto, that's John Lepresto upside down. Whoa, Kyle Scott, give him a big don't argue. Oh, we called that one on, on screen. So heartbreak at the moment for the Leprestos. After both running inside of a podium in a top five, they both find themselves. Excuse me, back on pit road. So this will tighten the field back up. Bam, a second lead from Jason Brown evaporates and it now goes into a nose to tail restart. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure he just said white flag number 47. So we have 12 to run. So the lights, the flashing lights are out. All right, guys, one to green. On the base track. Restart. Go on green. White flag, lap 47. So we'll have uh, 12. 12 laps to go, 13 laps to go, and we go back to green. All right, so white flag, lap number 47, Jason Brown has Tim Smith and Zane Scott. Can the 37. Can it be a surprise winner in tonight's race number two? Jason Brown, slow pace. Tim Smith trying to ride that pushing on the restart. And we are back underway here. 12 to run here at Knoxville. Brown once again, as he's done all night, slides up. And here comes Tim Smith riding the cushion off for turn number two. Smith is very close right now. In the turn three and four, they both ride the cushion. Smith has got the better run. The battle going on for fifth as well, but the battle is well and truly on for the race lead. Oh, Smith, the thought he just dropped the cushion. Oh, Zane Scott, he keeps it going. Kyle Scott in third right now. Oh, whoa, Zane Scott, talk about two wheeling and dealing right now. Ten to run. Tim Smith back to position number three. Kyle Scott from the low side to the top hits the cushion. Jason Brown starting to run away with this one. Nine laps to go in tonight's feature event. This track is absolutely crazy. The cushion, whoa, the cushion. Talk about Tim Smith. He is riding that thing like a boss. Man, it is tough to run, but if you hit it right, we've seen how much more speed he had just then. He's fastest lap of 16.349. And I believe we have got seven laps left to run here. Kyle Scott comes up the top of the racetrack right now. Sliding through the middle, tries to hit the cushion and gets the cushion, but Tim Smith, he is riding that cushion all the way around. Six laps left to go. And we have got a great battle going on for second and third right now. This is for the minor places. Here comes a slide job. He hits the cushion. He rides the cushion off a turn two. Oh, Brown makes a mistake. So he loses a ton of time. Five to go. This gets really interesting right now. Oh, Smith with a slider. 
He gets the cushion. Brown, he's starting to slow up. Here comes Kyle Scott. I think four to run. Oh, Tim Smith up and over the cushion. Oh, two wheels. He comes back on the racetrack, but he's going to give third to Tyson Lannis. Oh, Kyle Scott. Oh, no, he jumps the cushion. How deadly is the cushion right now? Oh, my. Kyle Scott goes from hero to zero. Unfortunately, the cushion, it is deadly right now. We've seen Tim Smith do it multiple times. And how about Tyson Landis, survival of the Go finish right now. Lap 50. Uh, white flag will be lap 50. So, imagining we're on two to go. So I think, I think we're going to have three laps left to run. Tyson Landis up to position number two. Timothy Smith, somehow that 838 has not junked it after riding this cushion. This is unbelievable. This cushion has just built up so big. Even the best of the best are making the mistakes right now. Should we try and listen in to... Number green, let's tighten up. White flag, lap 50. So we'll have uh, just over four, it looks like four laps left to go. Four to run. You heard it from race control. Ken Brown, will he pick up a pair of wins here at the Knoxville Raceway. Will we see Tyson Landis sneak into the mix here and maybe potentially pick up a career best finish of second place here at the Dirty Old Bastards? Tim Smith, we know he's got the capabilities of riding that cushion along with Zane Scott. Four to run. The green is out and we are back underway. We'll get after it one more time, hopefully. Oh, wow, Smith, just up and over the cushion. Well, no caution is out, but we stay green for the time being. And right now, Zane Scott trying to run the cushion and races on for the race lead. Oh, my Tyson Landis. How about this for a story? Wouldn't this be an epic race win? He has got two and a half to go. Browning trying to come in back on him on the low side in turns three and four. The door is open up top right now for Zane Scott. They make a little contact. Landis off for turn number two now. He's got one and a half to run. Let's keep an eye on the 31 to see if he can get his career best finish right now. He's got one lap to go. This is lap 50 right now. Whoa, the battle on for second, but we're going to keep an eye on Tyson Landis in the three and four. Slider from Scott, and Brown crosses back underneath him. Flag, the checkered flag. flag is out, and how about this for his story? Tyson Landis, he will pick up the win. Whoa. Let me tell you, I didn't see that one coming. Woo-hoo. The 31, whoa. Hell to the yes. Wow. Unbelievable. I reckon this man is going to be ecstatic right now. I'm happy for him. Whew. What a race. The 31. About to park it on the front stretch. Do some donuts. Let me tell you, Tyson, you've earned this one. Now, I think Zane Scott got third. Let's just confirm that. Zane, did you come across the line in third place? Pretty sure Zane did come across in third. Zane, you got a copy? I am. Um... You get third in that one? Yeah, we did. Uh, that was some fun racing, man. Tyson, I got to give it to him. He drove his wheels off there, uh, and he deserves that win. Um, and then that whole battle for second there coming to the checker with Jason. That was some good racing. That's the most fun I've had. Uh, and 
I got to give those guys props. They uh, they went balls to the wall. Man, that cushion was absolutely deadly there tonight, especially at, well, at, at both ends of the racetrack, I should say. Man, how many times you guys went up on two wheels and how you guys didn't wreck? Uh, it was just phenomenal to watch. Yeah, it was, uh, that was a pretty crazy race. And I got on, uh, I think, probably one wheel there at one point. Uh, I was just on the brakes trying to get it back down and keep it off the wall. Uh, and it'd be an understatement to say I'm not sweating right now. All right, man, you got any uh, sponsors you want to thank before we let you get out of here? I do. Uh, Colby's Eye Paints, Village Pizza House, Linder Speed Equipment, Gressman Power Sports, Ohio Truck Sales, Frickers, and my dad, of course. There we have it, Zane Scott. Coming away with the uh, with a third place yeah, tonight. But let me tell you, this is the story of the season so far. Tyson Landis, you put the 31 in victory lane. How happy are you right now? Oh, I can't hear you. I can hear you, I can, I can hear you keying up, but... Alright, so we're just going to try and get Tyson, uh, get his mic fixed. Uh, any, any luck there, Tyson? We'll uh, give him a couple of seconds here just to, just to uh, should be we should oh yeah i can hear you now but hey how, how happy are you right now to pick up a, a 410 win here uh, in the league <sighs> nah it's not working again hang on we're not going green Oh, I jumped out of the Discord so I couldn't. Alright, you gotta copy now. No, look, unfortunately, we could hear him there for a second, but it just uh, it seems like it's not picking up anything. But man, I'll tell you what, Tyson Landis, he started position number six. And what a drive on the bottom side of the racetrack. We sort of kept our eyes on not only Tim Smith, but Zane Scott, Jason Brown. He was just making uh, a few little errors towards the end of that race. And what about Tyson Landis? Late in the race with four to run. He puts it to the bottom and he just drives away. I wouldn't say drives away, but he certainly had that car rolling on the bottom. So what an awesome race. To see, congratulations to Tyson Landis on a career best finish. Yeah, he picks up, I believe, what is his first World of Atwell's Craftsman Sprint Car Series win you know, with the Dirty Old Bastards. And what a night to do it on here in the Sprint Car Capital of the World. Second went to Jason Brown. Third was Zane Scott. So we congratulate those two drivers on the podium here. And Jason Brown picking up a first on, and a second. Me. But that'll conclude round number two of the Blue Sphere Corporation Dirty Old Bastards World of Outlaws Craftsman Sprint Car Series live from the Knoxville Raceway. And it's round number three of the Blue Sphere Corporation 360 Sprint Cars comes back next Tuesday night, same time. Once again, it'll be live here on Ultimate Dirt TV. You can catch all of our replays live here on, on Facebook as well as they get uploaded to our YouTube channel. You can see our social media pages uh, to the left-hand side of the screen there. So feel free to check those out. Give us a like on Facebook if you haven't already. And give us a subscribe on YouTube as on, well. And you can watch all the, the races, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube, depending on what you want to watch it on. It'll be uploaded within sort of a day or two at worst. But that's it here from the Knoxville Raceway as we complete the second round of both 360s and 410s series presented by the Blue Sphere Corporation and the Dirty Old Bastards. So on behalf of everyone here at Ultimate Dirt TV, my name is Brett Wheeler signing off. We will see you back here next week.